What's up creatives, Seb here. In today's video, we're gonna be covering how to post the best Instagram Reels quality possible. Now, this isn't gonna be the traditional method because once we've exported our video, I'm gonna show you the next step, which is gonna dramatically increase your video quality. And what this is gonna do is prevent Instagram from compressing your video even further. Now, be sure to watch until the very end of this video because we also have a bonus little step, which is also gonna increase your Instagram Reels efficiency. But now that we've gone out of the way, be sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And let's jump right into to the editing desk. So welcome to the editing desk. Start off by opening your editing software of choice. Now I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro for the purposes of this video. And as you can see, I already have an Instagram Reels ready to go. But the first thing you wanna do is make sure you have the correct sequence settings. So head over to your sequence right here and select sequence settings. And you wanna make sure that your horizontal and vertical are correct. So make sure your horizontal is 1080 and then your vertical is 1920. And this means you have a nine by 16 aspect ratio, which is the correct aspect ratio for Instagram Reels. You then wanna make sure that your sequence is at the correct frame rate. So I shot my video at 25 FPS, so I'm gonna set it to 25. And then the rest of these settings are the basic settings that are given with Premiere Pro. So just make sure that it's set to this and then you should be good to go. So now that we have the correct sequence settings, we're almost good to go to export our video. But if you wanna go one extra step further and increase the quality of our video, we want to add some sharpening to our video. So I've added an adjustment layer right here and if I disable it, you'll see that I've actually color corrected and color graded my video with this adjustment layer. But we wanna go one extra step, so make sure your adjustment layer is selected, then go to the creative section right here and then you see where it has sharpen, we just wanna add 25% sharpness and this is gonna overall increase the sharpness of our video. Once that's good to go, my video is pretty much good to export. So I'm gonna press Control M or you can go to File, Export, and then Export Media. So once your Export Settings panel is opened up, you wanna make sure to change your format to H.264 and then you can change your preset to match source high bitrate. Once you've done that, you just wanna check your video settings are correct. So your width is 1080 and your height is 1920. If it's not that, then you can untick this box and then you can input it manually. But then you wanna scroll down, make sure that render at maximum depth is selected and then scroll all the way down until you get to your bitrate settings and I've changed it to VBR 2 pass and then I've set the target bitrate to 8 and the maximum bitrate to 8. Once you've done that we'll go over to the audio section. For the audio make sure it's AAC and then your sample rate is 48,000 set to stereo high and then 320. From here we're then going to go to the effects panel, scroll all the way down until you get to loudness normalization, set your loudness standard to ITUBS, your target loudness to minus 14 and then your max true peak to minus 1. Once all of these settings are done then just select use maximum render quality and then once you've done that you're good to export but before you do that press this button right here and you'll be able to save these export settings for later so then you can customize it and name it something else so I've called it reels slash tiktok vertical video so whenever I'm exporting an Instagram Reels, I just select this and everything is good to go. Now you're done with the export settings, just press export and we'll head over to the next step. Okay, so now we've exported our video, we now want to go ahead and compress it ourselves so we can keep as much quality as possible before Instagram compresses it. So right off the bat, we can see that we've got our video that we just exported. It's a 20 second long video and it's about 16 megabytes. And to be completely honest, that's pretty big for a 20 second video. So what we're actually gonna do is open up this software called Handbrake, it's 100% free to download. And then all we're gonna do is drag our video into handbrake. From here we'll go underneath the presets and then go to production and select production standard. We're then going to select web optimized and align AV. We're then going to go to the dimensions, make sure it's correct, so 1080 by 1920. You can see the source right here, so that's correct. We're then going to go into filters and select deinterlace and select decomb. From here we're going to go to the video settings and we're going to set our frame rate to same as source. We're gonna change our quality to 21. You can mess around with the quality if you want, but I found that 21 is actually really good. We're then gonna change our optimized video to very fast. And then in the advanced options right here, I'll have a text that you can copy in the description down below. But this is the text that I use, which optimizes it as much as possible. And then once you've done that, you wanna make sure that you save this as a preset. So then whenever you have other Instagram Reels you want to compress, you can just go to your preset section right here and then select Reels slash TikTok and then select the custom preset you've just made. So then it's much easier to do so you don't have to do it every single time. Once you've done that, you just need to save your video destination. So I'm just gonna do it in a folder that I had it. And then we're gonna press start encoding. Okay, so now that we've just compressed our video, let's quickly compare the before and after. So this is the original 16 megabytes, and then this is the handbraked one, four megabytes. So right off the bat, you can see that there's a huge file size difference. 
Now, the reason why we're compressing our video is because Instagram's gonna do it anyway. And if we can use a software like Handbrake, which is gonna compress our file size, but keep the maximum quality possible, then Instagram's not gonna be able to compress our video much further, and it's not gonna reduce the quality. So if we actually compare the video files right now, we'll have one on the left and one on the right. You can see that the video quality is the exact same, but the file size is way smaller. Okay, so now we've just exported and compressed our video. We're pretty much good to upload on Instagram, so let's head over to the other camera and talk about the last steps. Okay, so once you've exported and compressed pressed your video via handbrake, you're now ready to post your video onto Instagram Reels, but now you need to transfer your file. So make sure you use secure networks like Google Drive, Dropbox, and AirDrop. You don't wanna be using any social media platforms like WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger, or even email, because this will dramatically compress your video and make your quality look really bad. Once you've transferred your file securely onto your phone, you should now be ready to post your Instagram Reels and have the highest quality possible. So that's pretty much it for this video, but like I mentioned at the start, there is a bonus for you guys. So what I've decided to do is I've actually extracted my Premiere Pro sequence and export settings so that you can download them as presets. So you can just save a bunch more time when making your Instagram Reels. So a download link to that will be in the description down below. But that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you did enjoy. And if you did, do leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.